Hey guys, here Dennis Voodoo here, and welcome to episode 86 of my Call of Duty Black Ops Emblem Editor Series. Today we're looking at the Metallica Ninja Star logo, which is a real cool logo, looks very effective on the gun, and uh, is actually a lot simpler than what it looks, so after you've done a little bit of dabbling around, it is quite straightforward. Also in this video, we're going to be visiting on the, the subject of the Black Ops 2 Emblem Editor, which some information has come to light recently, um, which is really cool, got a little bit more detail on uh, exactly what we're going to be getting our hands on when Black Ops 2 comes out. And I've got to tell you I'm really looking forward to it. So uh, the Metallic and Ninja Star, I've done a little bit of uh, sort of research on it. doesn't really mean a great deal from what I can make out. It's just a, a real cool sort of symbol. It was on an album cover and, uh, and yeah, it's, um, it's a really nice looking logo. Now then, let's get into the Black Ops 2 Emblem Editor. So now they've released some information basically where you're going to... Um, the basics are you're going to have 32 layers which is pretty cool obviously we've only got 12 on this you're uh, going to have an RGB wheel which is very similar to what you see in sort of like most sort of editing suites like Photoshop basically Dave Vanderhaar has said we've essentially created Photoshop so uh, I'll read a little bit to you I'll put a link to this article I've read in the description basically You'll be able to copy, paste, flip, move, rotate and scale items. The editor also supports 32 different layers, meaning creations can be especially elaborate. And add in an RGB color mixing wheel and transparency effects, there's almost no limit to what can be created in the emblem editor. So uh, basically, when you do challenges and stuff, that'll unlock um, background layers and shapes there's 150 backgrounds and 150 shapes to unlock and uh, that means that there'll be no shortage of challenges for us guys to partake in to unlock what there is so uh, I'm not a little bit dubious on this challenge business and uh, trying to unlock things that's the thing that holds sort of like the biggest sort of problem for me so say there's some sort of really cool shape but the thing is absolutely ridiculous to do then it's gonna create boosting and people doing stuff just to unlock stuff and that's where I did like on the emblem editor on black ops one where you could buy them all over time with the money so I don't know about that jury's out on that one but Obviously 32 layers is great, colour mixing wheel or colour RGB colour mixer, that's um, going to be great as well and uh, 32 layers is obviously really good and we can do lots of bits and pieces. Um, it doesn't say nothing about like skewing, excuse me, the uh, phone going off doesn't say anything about skewing the, being able to skew with the, the shapes because obviously on like 4s of 4 you can skew with the shapes and make lots of different shapes from them shapes so hopefully that'll be in there as well so I'm not 100% sure on that one but um, we shall see other than that looks pretty good haven't seen any screenshots or anything of the actual stuff so don't know exactly what it looks like but I'd say it's obviously going to be a similar sort of affair to this one but, um, but just on steroids really so I've got to say it's really something I'm looking forward to so any other information you guys know that I don't feel free to leave it in the comments as always um, I don't know everything at all. I just read up a little bit on the internet and go from there. But emblem there is all done and dusted, guys. I think it looks really nice. Hopefully, you guys do too. Obviously, any other emblems you want in, put them in the comment section below. If they're not achievable in this editor, I will keep them back and I'll be using them in the Black Ops 2 emblem editor. Now, here's some of my previous emblems. Top left is Skrillex logo. Bottom left is Black Ops 2 logo. Top right is Nuketown 2025, and bottom left is the Minecraft creep logo as always guys thanks ever so much for watching please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe if you haven't already done so and i shall see you in the next video see you later guys